Students at Ohlone have the opportunity to express themselves in many ways. One of them being the ceramics department. There's a lot of opportunity to explore form and design, and also to really uh, explore one's own voice. It allows you to have creativity in a way that you don't normally have. Um, yeah, I think it's it's rather. It's one of those things that everyone should have to be able to do. There's something beautiful and so satisfying about that handmade piece that's a part of your life that you know somebody spent weeks making and you have the honor of using it. The ceramic department focuses on teaching students how to make art through the use of clay and ceramic materials. However, it isn't just bowls and throwing on the wheel, but a dive into the many forms ceramics can take through many skill levels can make incredible sculptures with clay as well and tell stories and relate to people and create incredible installations and public art. Throwing, throwing, it's wonderful. I love the wheel. It was my first time playing with clay, so I thought it was still pretty fun and exciting, so no. Working with your hands, making something, and you know, you never know when you will need that you might use that same skill some other time in a different medium. It's a tool. Clay is a tool just like a pencil. And uh, you can create these physical forms that are going to take shape and be in your environment. One of the main projects introduced at the beginning of the semester is the Flower Project, based on a famous installation in England. At the Tower of London in England, there was an installation by Tom Cummins, and they created hundreds of thousands of poppies. Each poppy represented a soldier that died in World War I, and it was an installation piece. From that sparked a new semester tradition. Every student in the ceramics classes gets to add flowers to an ever-growing installation on campus, where every student gets to make an impact. I really enjoy the project here and how it looks. Um, I think that it's amazing that they have done it so many semesters in a row and it just keeps growing. I'm so proud those flowers are you know installed and people come and look at it and uh, I love having something that people walk past and go oh my god somebody made that on our campus and for students to make these flowers and put so much into it and be able to be a part of the community even when they continue to grow and leave Ohlone is, is very cool. I enjoy it. I think it's nice to leave something behind. Um, yeah, I think it's really cool. It's really hard, right, to work on something and to put all of your creativity and everything you're learning into it and letting it go. Classes open for enrollment for the 2023 spring semester for continuing students on November 28th. Students can go to my.aloni.edu and take a look at some of the upcoming classes in the ceramics department. There's still a lot to look forward to next semester in the department. There is one project that I'm, I'm toying with, uh, and it has to do with uh, one of the buildings on Aloni Way. Katie's always has ideas, so I'm curious to see what happens next ceramic class the best I love it and the teacher is wonderful um, learned a lot and I recommend this to everyone we're here the, the entire art department is a great place to be and we're here to teach you these skills you don't need to come already knowing how to work with the materials it's our job to teach you you get hooked. Be careful. <laughs> I'm Rebecca Twyman in Building 2 of Ohlone College's Fremont campus reporting for Ohlone Tri-City News.